Welcome to our FAFSA video series. The FAFSA requires users to log in to their studentaid.gov account. A dependent student completing the FAFSA will need an account as well as one parent. In some scenarios, the second parent will also need an account. The same applies to an independent student, except in some scenarios, the student's spouse will also need an account. Before you begin, write down answers to four of these questions. Now let's begin. Go to studentaid.gov, click Create Account, and get started. Step one, enter your first name, last name, date of birth, and social security number to continue. Step two, create a username at least six characters long using letters and numbers only. When the system indicates the username is available, enter and re-enter your personal email. Next, create a password at least eight characters long using one uppercase letter, one lowercase letter, and one number. Click continue. Step three, enter the address where you live, city, state, and zip code. Next, enter and re-enter your mobile number and click the box to use the mobile number for account access. Click continue. Step four, select your communication preferences, language preference, and click continue. Step five, select and answer four challenge questions to continue. Step six, review your information, check the box, and click continue. Step seven, click verify to enable two-step verification. A new window will open, enter the code received, and click continue. Once verified, click continue to proceed. Take a picture or write down your backup code, check the box, and click continue. Your account has been successfully created. The Social Security Administration must confirm your information, which takes one to three days. Once confirmed, log in to complete the FAFSA. For more information about the FAFSA and our state aid programs, check out Money for College at college4tn.org.